Hey guys, this is Brenda with RB Outdoors. Welcome to another exciting adventure here in the Outback. Uh, a common problem that we have, and I think a lot of people have actually, is when you get to camp your first night, you've worked till 5 o'clock or whatever time, you've driven a couple hours, you're tired, the kids are tired, uh, you're starving, hello, and you got to get camp set up. What I want to talk about is quick meals. You don't have to just have the hot dog. I love those for lunch the next day. Let's not forget, they're awesome. But dinner should be a different meal. I mean, it can be, I should say. Uh, so we've got a couple of different things we're going to show you here tonight. We're doing walking tacos. Okay, so walking tacos is super easy. You do it all at home. You don't even have to think about it, really. It's just a heat and eat. And they're super fun. The kids are going to love them. What you do is you do your taco meat at home the day before, the morning before, whatever works for you. Maybe it's just a couple of days before you have tacos and then now you're going to have them as leftover. Just do extra couple of pounds or whatever you need to do for your family or your, your needs. So uh, what they are is they're taco meat. You can put whatever you want. Make it your own. It could be shredded chicken. It could be pork. It could be whatever you want it to be. But what we're doing tonight is venison burger hello um but it could be burger anyway a burger of some sort we've got venison burger in here we actually put our um, onions in here because they got a little too close to the ice so they were a little bit frozen so we put them in with our meat adapt right uh normally we would just put them on top but tonight they're in our meat mixture you could put in i think the recipe actually calls for um uh, beans of some sort, but we've opted to just skip that set. We're, we're starving, so we're just going to heat and eat on this. So um, I've just got the venison burger in here and some onions, and then I'll show you here in a sec. We're going to top it off and eat. Okay, so now that the meat and everything's ready to go, you just grab a bag of chips. Uh, we get these at Costco. I know you can get them at Walmart, the big bags of different kinds. I actually like the Fritos. I've got the Fritos right here. Whoop. That's what I'm having. Rich is going to have the nacho cheese ones. Key element on this is to grind them up just a little bit, squish them up, break them up. And then you open it up, wind it down just a little bit, put your meat in, and you're ready to go. Let's eat. yours. And we're ready to eat just like that. I do have to give a shout out to my sister. She is the one that came up with this. Thanks D. Love you sis. Uh, she actually came up with this at Thanksgiving and it was great. It wasn't turkey and stuffing and everything because we were all full from that the next day. And we sat down to watch the movie and had this. Kids loved it. Highly recommend it. Heat eat go hey guys it's our first night at camp we've got most of the camp set up here and uh, it's about time for dinner we are starving so we've got a quick meal going on here for us I'm gonna get the cast iron skillet uh, heated up while you check out what we're having okay everybody we're here in our kitchen it's prep day so we're gonna be prepping our meal for Friday night quick setup get to camp need to eat quickly. So what we're going to be doing this Friday night is our andouille sausage teriyaki stir fry. Super easy. We're going to prep pretty much all of it at home. Dump, heat, eat. Let's get started. Okay, so we've got everything cut up and into a baggie. Since the sausage was already cooked, we can put it in with the veggies. It doesn't harm it at all. 
um, and just makes it easier for the dumpling cook. So what we've got in here and what we've chosen to do for our stir fry, of course, make it your own. People put all kinds of things in there. So um, what we're doing in ours this week is the sausage. We've got some carrots, uh, squash, yellow squash, mushrooms, and red peppers. Uh, that we are going to be putting in as well as we've got our garnishments uh, which is the green onion chopped up and cilantro. Cilantro you want to be really careful with. We've chopped it up, it's ready to go, but um, you want to make sure it doesn't get directly on the ice that you're going to be that's in your cooler. Um, make sure it's on top of something else so that it doesn't get brown and black and nasty. So that's ready to go. And then the Yoshida's uh, teriyaki, we don't need to take that huge jug. People do that all the time. They just grab and they put up, taking up way too much space. This is all we need, more than enough actually. Um, but I like to put a lot on my rice and stuff like that. So I've just put it in another container that's sealable. Um, it's not gonna drip out or any all over the place and it's ready to go. Now the final step in this is that I like to really condense everything down. So when we are at camp and we're starving, we're setting up, we can just grab it out of the cooler and go. So what I do is I take a bag, I put everything in there, like so, this on top, close it up, and guess what? Dinner's ready to go in the cooler. Okay, so this is about done. This has been cooking about eight minutes now. It's done, it is, smells so good. What we're gonna put in with this tonight is the rice cauliflower. And uh, we got it at Costco, you can get it in a box of like six or so, and highly recommend it. It's so nutritious, it tastes just like rice. I was super skeptical, have to admit it, but it was really good. So give it a try, highly recommend it. Um, but you can also do steamed rice as well. Just do it at home, just like you do the veggies and everything. Bundle it up, bring it with you, do the exact same thing. I'm literally just gonna dump this in. Okay, dinner's ready. I'm starving, it smells so good. I'm eating. Mmm. Hi everybody, I hope you're doing well. Tonight we have an excellent, quick, easy Dutch oven meal for you today. We're going to be fixing chicken enchiladas in an 8 inch Dutch oven. Most of the prep has already been done. We have some shredded chicken that I did in the crock pot the day before and we're get, we've already got the cheese shredded. We've got our enchilada sauce green and red and we're going to be putting them in a Dutch oven and it's going to be easy peasy so let's get to it. So let's talk about Dutch oven liners. I have these in my camp box. I just need to remember to use them and this helps tremendously on your Dutch oven and cleaning up mess. Now this one is actually made for like a 12 and 14 inch Dutch oven, but I ended up just cutting these down to fit my 8 inch oven. And I'll show you afterwards how easy it is to clean your Dutch oven, especially when you're doing like enchiladas with a lot of cheese and sauce. That'll just really bake this in. These are from Coleman. There you go. Uh, Brenda and my granddaughter just fixed brownies in this Dutch oven two or three hours ago. There was nothing to clean up. It was awesome. Highly recommend Dutch oven liners. All right, I have about 15 briquettes here in the fire. They're just about ready. So for an eight inch Dutch oven, it's five on the bottom and 10 on top to reach. 350 degrees and that's about what I'm looking for. Okay, I'm going to put some uh, sauce, enchilada sauce in the bottom. And I'm going to put my tortilla in. I'm going to grab my pre 
crock pot shredded chicken. And then we take a few slices of some Walla Walla sweet onions. And we got some pre done shredded sharp cheddar cheese. And then I'm going to take another shell. And then I'm going to take a little bit of my red enchilada sauce. And then I'm just going to repeat the process. All right, everybody, here we go. She's pretty full. <laughs> Made it went a little bit too high, but she'll be just fine. But remember, we're not cooking this. This, the chicken is already done, so we're just going to get it all hot and bubbly, so there's nothing to worry about having raw chicken or anything like that. So let's get the briquettes on there, and I'm guessing it's going to take probably about a half an hour or so. All right, everyone, it's been about an hour. It took a little bit longer, but if you want to make this quicker, I did not preheat the Dutch oven. You can also preheat the enchilada sauce. And I bet you can have this done in a half an hour. So let's take a peek and let's see what we can. I can definitely smell chicken enchiladas right here. Ho oh, ho, wow. Look at that. So. Oh, gooey, chewy. Oh yeah, those are definitely done. To put a little cilantro. Any hot sauce if you so inclined. There you go. Easy eight inch Dutch oven chicken enchiladas. Now if you have a huge group you can use a 12 or even a 14 inch Dutch oven and you could feed everyone in one pot. I'm going to show you how clean pretty clean this Dutch oven is going to be once I pull it out of the Dutch oven parchment paper. Plus we have leftovers. Look at that. Check this out. She's still a little warm. Look at that. Cheese, chicken, enchiladas, sauce, that's almost a wipeout clean. How cool is that? Plus we have leftovers. I'm giving it a two thumbs up. Hey, good morning everybody. It's Saturday morning. We've been enjoying a lazy day by the fire so far, enjoying some coffee, and we had a great night's sleep last night. Nothing like sleeping in a tent in the outdoors. So we're going to be getting breakfast going here this morning and uh, while we get our Dutch oven up to cooking temperature, check out what we're going to be having. So this morning we are going to prep up what we're going to be doing for the farmer's bake. Um, this is going to be a quick easy meal other than the cooking time in the Dutch oven over the fire. That will take a little bit but it's a dump, heat, eat. So it's super easy and especially when we do a bunch of it at home. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're going to use our shredded hash brown. We have our farm fresh eggs, fresh from my sister's chickens. Thanks, sis. And uh, then we've got um, cheddar cheese, spam, don't leave home without it, and evaporated milk. This is all going to go into uh, containers. We're going to get this all prepped up and ready to go. Let's get started. All right, we've got everything ready to go. I took uh, the hash browns. I portioned out about three cups of hash browns, frozen hash browns into a zippy. We've got our spam chopped up and ready to go. And uh, we've got just over a cup of cheese. It actually only calls for three quarters of a cup. I like extra cheese though. We've got our chopped up green onions. And then I took the evaporated milk that it calls for, one can, 12 ounce can. I put it in this container along with 
the four eggs. These were smaller eggs because they are the farm fresh eggs. Um, and so I actually put six eggs in here just to bring it up to the right consistency. So I've got this all put together. Um, so the great thing about this is that it's just shake it, dump it, and go. You don't have to beat it. You don't have the mess on your hands from cracking the eggs open. That's done here, pre, ahead of time, shake, dump, go. And finally, salt and pepper. We always take this with us, so we've got this on hand to finalize our seasoning, and we'll be ready to go. Final thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put all of this into my bag and uh, have it ready to go. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, that doesn't need to go in there. Put it all into the cooler, we're ready to go. We've got the Dutch oven up to 350. We need to get all this in cooking. Rich is going to touch base with you about um, how he got it up to temperature and how he keeps it at temperature. But I want to get this cooking because it does take almost an hour to bake. So let's get cooking. I actually took a screenshot of how many briquettes it takes for different sizes and different temperatures of Dutch oven. So for 350 on a 12 inch Dutch oven, I've got about 17 on the top and I have about eight on the bottom. And then I put this in here, I bring it up to that 350, and we poured all the breakfast items in there. And everything goes to plan, we're gonna have an amazing breakfast. All right, this is done. It has been about 40 minutes and uh, we are ready to eat. We are starving again. <laughs> so let's dish this up. Boy, it smells so good. All the cheese is all gooey. Yum. All right, let's eat. If you like this video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up.